Hello everybody, today we are going to unbox original Apple 20 watt power adapter. We also going to compare it with a fake one. A box like this does not necessarily mean that it's original, but I'm going to show you how original one looks like because there are fake one with boxes and without boxes. You never know. Um, this one is original box, original wall charger from Best Buy, same as from Apple. It says here 20 watt. We have a green here seal. USB C. She tells you what it what it is compatible with. You can charge Samsung phones with it, like whatever. Um, let's see here. I have serial number here. So fake ones may have different writings. Each one should have different serial number. This is the model number. Part number rather here is the model number. I remove this seal. Now we can open it. And we have the manual here. Apple one year warranty. Okay, made in China, obviously, original or not, everything is made in China. Same as your iPhone and like iPad and like all the laptops, most of other phones. And this is the wall charger. Hmm. See, this thing is kind of wobbling so as so we're here 20 watt in the beginning these were 18 watt iphone 11 pro and 11 pro max were coming with ones like this with they were 18 watt it's pretty much the same thing just this one's supposedly 10 percent or so more powerful and um since iphone 12 no phones come with wall chargers anymore and uh, those in boxes are the only ones now and they come um, 20 watt okay let's take a look take a good look at the writing this one is made in india by the way the wall charger itself is made in india not in china yes some made in india actually uh could be some other countries but most made in china over here though the box says made in China no made in India I was wrong huh? I was saying it made in, it's made in China but it's <laughs> Should look over here the manual printed in India this one is made in no manual printed in China wall charger made in uh, India and box made in India something like that so I know, I know apple makes in india too okay um probably doesn't matter they're all the same here i have a fake one this one does not say wattage but it might say 18 or 20. the print quality is def definitely different the writings um this one is a1720 this one is 3305 so it has a wrong model number but it it could be it could be from uh, from 18 watt or from whatever designed by apple in california same over here fake ones may have some like misspellings 
Okay, look closely over here. Original says made in India. Then we have a space and then goes the... Is it the serial number? It should be the serial number, right? Yeah, it's the serial number. It must match the one on the box, right? And then this one, it says made in China and there is no space. Fake ones often miss spaces and have some... Um, um, some different um, misspellings, typos, kind of thing. This is the old one, by the way. This is what was before. Oh, now everything uses USB-C here. And the old one's USB-A. Let's take a look and compare them in the back. You see how this one is kind of white and this one is kind of dirty, kind of, I don't know. And look uh, at the gaps between, uh, like over here, look over here, look at the gaps. So original, it's like nice. Here on the fake one, they're definitely bigger, you can see like, yeah. You can see through over there. They will also be different on the on the inside. The plastic here is like this. On the original one, it's kind of wobbly like this. Also, fakes may have uh, a more kind of clear plastic. Yeah, this one is clear. You see, this one is different. This one is like this, it's a completely different plastic, but fake may, may have a plastic like this as well. Another thing to check if it's original or not, you need the scales, like jewelry kind of scales or for cooking. So the old one was 25 gram, pretty much exactly 25 gram, right? The new one, 58, right? 58, maybe something, maybe a little bit more than 58. Okay, and this one. Oh, this one is a little bit more. Yeah, usually fakes are less, but uh, with these ones, the, they make them pretty damn close to to original uh, regarding weight. So with these old ones, the fakes were like 20 gram, 18, and the original were 25, so it was easy to spot, you can even like feel it. So these ones, they make the same weight. I put everything back, so let's see the box. 83.90, right? And I guess this thing will make the difference. Oops. No. Hmm. So roughly uh, about 84 grams. So in this, in the boxing packaging, the fakes may miss some um, uh, manuals or whatnot, or like some kind of packaging or have the box lighter, cheaper um, cardboard paper. So original, like close to 84 grams, right? And a few words regarding how they work. So um, the fakes are usually less powerful. If this one is 20, the fake one may say it's 20, but in reality it will be maybe 15, 18, 12, 10, whatever, like anything. Um, doesn't matter what they say, like how many wattage, how many like ampere or anything, doesn't matter. They can be anything. Fake ones uh, may blow up they may ruin your phone, they may um, do some bad things. Sometimes with the, when you plug in your phone with a fake wall charger, your phone starts uh, functioning funny kind of, like you can't message or something like that. Then you plug it up, plug it out, and it's fine again. Um, they might do some um, permanent damage to your phone, uh, to your battery, but Overall, it might be fine, actually. Uh, you never know. It's like, you never know. It's like, it might be fine, it might be not. It might be just a little bit slower charging. Um, they can break, right? Uh, original 
can break too actually, but uh, very, very unlikely. You have to do something to break them. Um, fake ones uh, have a higher chance to break. And it's especially true about cables, like cables, like fake cables will break fast, original, like last for a while until your dog chews it. Uh, the new wall chargers, they use this kind of cables. So this one goes into your phone and USB-C goes into a power adapter. The old ones were using uh, this, right, USB-A. You can still use your old cable and wall charger, it'll just charge slower. As the new phones come with a bigger battery and uh, it takes more to charge it so the old ones will be kind of slow some people say the the old ones will be safer for your battery um, i don't know about that maybe maybe but the old ones will definitely be slow because these are only five watt in order to buy an original one, I just suggest you to buy from um, Apple Store or Best Buy or like some big retailer, I don't know, maybe Target sells them or someone. Um, those on eBay, Amazon offer up and like um, Facebook Marketplace and all those, those you never know and most likely they're gonna be fake, more likely than not actually. They cost $19 plus tax, right? Or without tax, depending where you live or how you buy. Um, $19 and that's it. If you see something cheaper than that, you might, you might, you might have to be worried about it. So it's like someone sells them for $5 or $10. Um, the chances are those are gonna be fake. So as for these, I suggest you to buy in uh, like from Apple directly. They, they are never on sale. I never see these on sale. They never go on sale for $10 or any other price. They just 19 and that's it. So it's um, it's not like someone could, could buy them cheaper on sale or with a coupon or whatnot and then sell you um, at a lower price, significantly lower price. You know, someone would be losing money your other option is to use uh, wall chargers from other brands that might be cheaper. Um, you need to make sure these are good brands, like kind of known brands. A lot of brands are just like, you know, I just like nothing. Um, you may find some cheaper one, even better ones, because like, let's be honest, $19, Apple makes like a ton of money on it, right? Because it's $19, it, cost them maybe one dollar hmm? something like that maybe one maybe two i don't know but they make good money on those i hope it will help you to identify a fake one and um thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe